Hey, Mink Toes, this is Vention. I'm, uh, um, housekeeping kicked me out of my room. I was happily watching Mink Toe videos, <laughs> and uh, I got the knock. <laughs> so uh, I came down here and um, thought I'd uh, do some cautious walking. I think maybe I'll do about like maybe a half a mile or something. Um, other than that, I'm slowly recovering. I still have to wear diapers, so I can't venture too far from the hotel. Um, got my grab bag of, uh, of colostomy supplies over there. <laughs> um, I was just, one, one thing I wanted to uh, note was uh, I was, um, I was watching a video from um, a real libertarian awake uh, uh, woman called Amazing Polly, and she was talking, she was like, it was so gynocentric, she was commenting her, like on her most recent video, I think she was commenting on, on the funeral where, where the woman was sitting there at her husband's funeral and the two sons were, they moved their chairs close together and then the uh, bureaucrat showed up and said, no, you can't, you have to social distance even though they all probably came in the same car. <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, um, so, and then she was like shaming the two guys, you know, for not standing up and fighting, but she didn't say shit about the woman. Uh, uh, so uh, basically she, she was just, you know, she wants the men, you know, the, the disposable penises to, uh, to step up and fight the functionary for the, uh, or fight the bureaucrat for the, the mother, right? And um, I had to, uh, I had to kind of say that uh, honestly, uh, men have been getting the hard, the hard fist of government for decades, right? And now though, now though, women are actually starting to get that too. They um, like that. That woman in Australia, you know, since she was voting left all this time and voted and uh, in the politicians that took away all the guns and left us big time, and then then she tried to stand up to the police when uh, when the uh, when uh, when they uh, said you you should wear a mask, right? And uh, and then they tased her and cuffed her and all that stuff. And oh my goodness, how terrible it is that the that the woman. Is uh, is getting uh, beat by the government, right? But uh, <laughs> honestly, I can't really feel a lot of sympathy because men have been getting shit like that and shat on like that for decades. And now, now that uh, the government is starting to do the same thing to them, now they want us to step up and fight and defend their honor and, and fight for freedom and all that shit. <laughs> they want us to step up and sacrifice ourselves to, to, uh, to basically, uh, you know, gain the freedom of society, you know. But honestly, all these women are just voting left anyway, so they vote for what they want, and men are already getting it anyway. And the only di real difference is that they're just gonna get it too. <laughs> and, and I can't really, find within me that chivalrous spirit where I would step up and, and fight for the freedom and the, and the honor of the women, you know, and I just, I just don't have that in me anymore. <laughs> so when, the, when a woman decides to jump up and, and say, no, I, I'm not going to wear a mask, and then she gets tased and beat by the cops, I'll just stand there with a sarcastic smile under my mask and uh, calmly walk away <laughs> because there is nothing in it for me. Zero, absolutely nothing in it for me to uh, step up and defend and fight for her honor and shit like that. There, nothing. I would get no thank you. I wouldn't probably wouldn't even get a thank you. I probably uh, she'd probably say, "Oh, he's toxic masculinity." Uh, and finally, he's useful for something, the freaking pig. And uh, <laughs> it's 
So, no, nah, no, nah. they've got, they've, they have voted for this, you know, and, and if in the next, next election in the U.S., you know, if they decide to, to vote Biden in and put in, bring in a bunch of leftists, they'll take our guns and, uh, and all that and, and uh, step up the oppression. I will just take my Bitcoins and maybe I might just move here. This is Tijuana. I don't think I'd live in Tijuana, but, uh, but uh, I might go to a smaller city um, in Mexico and just kick back and uh, <laughs> live the rest of my life in peace. And, uh, and if I don't like Mexico, I could move to Asia. Although <laughs> Cambodia kicked my ass. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to go back there. But uh, basically, um, yeah, um, yeah, they're on their own. The chivalrous spirit has been beat out of me since I, by the time I was about maybe 30 or 35 or so. Finally, I mean, it took a while and it took a lot, but yeah, I'm done. <laughs> they can fight for their, they can fight their own battles. And if they want to vote leftist, well, they get what they want. <laughs> Okay, McToes, that's about all I got for you, and don't get married.